<laughs> I'm looking rough. I'm looking like Uncle Fester right now. Hello, my most beautiful friends in the entire world. For today's video, I'm doing something that I have not done in a very, very long time. That is uh, coming straight from work, taking off my eye makeup, just to literally do an eyeshadow palette review for you without taking the rest of my makeup off. And that is why we are looking <laughs> really rough. I have not done this in a very long time. This is a uh, 6 a.m. makeup coming at you right now. And uh, <laughs> maybe I should have done this video without the makeup on because but needless to say, we have a brand new palette to review for you guys today. It is the Nutty by Nature palette from Inslee Ring Cosmetics. Y'all, wait till you see how cute this palette is. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into another episode of Vlogoween. Oh my god, even up close, it looks even rough, like rougher. Y'all, I promise my makeup doesn't look this bad ever. But listen, listen here, my most beautiful besties. You are looking extra gorgeous today. Me, on the other hand, I look like I just spent six hours crying my eyes off. But hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I just got off of work. Literally, I just got off of work. And today is my four-year wedding anniversary with my husband. And I was like, listen, before we go celebrate, I want to film this palette because it is just way too cute, way too precious not to. And I was like, why don't I do something I've not done in a long time? Why don't I just take a makeup wipe, wipe off my eye makeup, right? Save some time without having to redo my makeup, do my eye makeup, and then go out. And well, she looked a little rough. Might not have been the best call. I, I might have just needed to just wash the face and start over. But alas, besties, we are here. This is real life and you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so anywho, we have the brand new Nat Nutty by Nature palette. First off, this packaging, like it's so freaking cute. I love animals and I cannot stop staring at how, oh my God, like what is that? Oh, okay. I can't stop staring at how adorable this packaging is. Like this little squirrel is so cute. Okay, so this palette, it says, get ready for something nutty, the first in our whimsical woodland creatures series, Nutty by Nature, inspired by one of our favorite little woodland companions, the squirrel. Small, cute, but oh so mighty, and maybe a bit nutty too. This six pan palette delivers earthy tones that will make your eyes sparkle like hidden forest treasures. Nut nutty by Nature kicks off the series, but there's more magic to come. Each month we'll be launching a brand new six pan palette featuring a different woodland creature or theme. Get ready to collect the full series of whimsical nature inspired shades month by month that'll keep your creativity flowing all year round. So I'm not exactly sure when this palette is going to be launching and the exact price point if I know by the time I'm editing this video, I'll have it here. And if it's not here, which means I don't know it yet, but I will list it down in the description as soon as I know. But y'all, I saw this palette and I was like, I have to play with this because when you open this up, this color story is so freaking cute. First off, the yellow, yellow, yellow. We are unintentionally matching. But secondly, I really just love the color story. Like it looks like fall. It looks like that fall that's transferring into winter. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like that, that in between, in between. <laughs> Okay, um, I've had too much coffee today. Okay, anywho, um, like legit, uh, it just looks like that, like that perfect like transition between fall into winter. So you're gonna have four mattes and you're gonna have two multi-chromes in here. So on camera, I feel like this shade, it really is really hard to pick up. But right now it definitely is a beautiful like multi-chrome. So I'm gonna show you guys right here. And then look what it looks like when you put the mirror right next to it. You can see how it really picks up that green and purple shift. So freaking beautiful, right? Then we have the second shade. This one's called Squirrely. And again, look at how beautiful this shade is. This one's definitely a little bit more orange yellow. Do you see that? Like that perfect like fall orange. These two together will make such a beautiful combination. It's just really kind of hard for it to pick up on camera by itself, but putting that mirror right next to it really helps to show the true shift. So we're gonna do uh, just one eye look today because there's only six shadows in here. We're gonna try to utilize every single shade. So I'm gonna start off with my handy dandy eye base. This is the Sigma eye base in the shade Ignite. And I don't know about you guys, but who here is a millennial? Raise your hand. Okay, like majority of you guys are millennial. If not, is it Gen, Gen, Gen X's? Gen X's? Gen Z's? I, 
I think they're like on alpha betas now. I don't know what generation is what, but the one that's before me, Alexa, what's the generation before millennials? Generation X comes before the millennial generation. Thank you. So then, okay, so the Gen Xers, hi besties. You guys, I'm sure have heard of a show called Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues. Okay, so if you haven't, um, let me introduce you. There's a guy named Steve and his pet dog named Blue. And Blue and him go around, they find clues to solve mystery situations of like items disappearing or, you know, just solving mysteries together. And anyway, so I grew up on that show and the guy that I watched, his name was Steve. I'm gonna go into the shade called Naughty Neighbor. That's a n nutty neighbor. That's actually really cute. So his name was Steve and I grew up watching it. And then one day Steve left us. Okay, Steve, all right, left us. All right. And it was very devastating as a child because Steve was my best friend. Anyway, so he left us. And then obviously like a lot of us grew up and didn't really think too much of it. But recently he's made an appearance on TikTok. Okay. So he's made an appearance on TikTok and I don't know what he's doing to us millennials, but clearly something is happening because he comes on camera and he sits down and all he does is he just says, Hey, how are you doing today? Just tell me about your day. Tell me about your week. Tell me about your life. And he just sits there quietly and there's just like soft noise playing the background of this music or just like nature sounds, whatever. And it's like a three minute video where he's just going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And let me tell you, every time Steve pops up on my page now and he wants to sit there with me for three minutes, I start to cry. And I'm just like, I'm gonna talk to you about my life problems, my adult problems, and I start to cry. But it's not just because of what he's doing, it's the comment section. It is the comment section that is just getting to me because I didn't realize how much of us millennials are just like going through it. I feel like we're really just kind of going through it because we kind of grew up in the in-between generation, okay? Because we grew up with the Gen Xers saying like, go to school, get your education, you can land your dream job and you can, you know, have a big house and you can have a family and you can have all this stuff, right? And then we do that, we go get, we go get our degrees and like, anthropology and architecture like architects or like trying to be like a like a, a, a space like an astronaut right and then like the generation behind us are all getting their education in the digital world because we didn't really grow up in the digital world like we didn't like we start learning how to type like in sixth or seventh grade you know what i mean like our worlds were two different things so we start growing up in like in, in the in between of like the old world and the new world so we kind of just like are like the like last great generation is what they call it online Anyway, so my whole point is to say that there's so many different millennials out there that tell their story and it's just incredibly sad reading their story because it's also just a reminder that like life, like we're growing up and like, you know, life does happen. And just to hear these people's stories, it just has made me sit there and watch Steve's video and cry my eyes out. <laughs> and the only reason I'm even telling you guys this story right now is not to be depressing, but it's just because I said I had my handy dandy, like, um, eyebrow pencil, like my eye, I, 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 I thinky. I base handy dandy and you know in the blues clues they go let's bring out the handy dandy notebook and I don't know I'm gonna say this now I think it'd be really iconic if like a brand did a uh, blues clues um makeup collection that'd be so freaking cool just gonna throw that out there throw that out there maybe glam light could create something like that speaking of glam light by the way um besties we need to have a conversation I'm gonna talk about this on Sunday I don't think I'm getting the Halloween collection in PR, which is fine. Um, but my question is, do I buy it now? Like, what do I do? All right, so we're just like gonna lay this base down. It's gonna be messy. We're gonna trust the process. I'm gonna take a shade called Forget Me Nut. That's actually really cute. It's so cute. I kind of wonder what other like whimsical creatures are gonna be um, featured in the palette series. It's so funny is that like, I think like this to me, it's going to kick off like a Christmas series, right? Because a lot of people like put squirrels and, and cardinals and polar bears and deers and stuff like that into like Christmas stuff. But um, I definitely can see that happening as well because I love the show called South Park. <laughs> Particularly, I love the South Park games. And they talk about these forest, these woodland creatures that are just like evil creatures. <laughs> and I could just uh, picture that as I'm playing with this. Although this is not that. I could just picture it. All right, so we're just gonna take the shade. This is a very, very light yellow pastel shade. We're just gonna take this and we're gonna slowly just kind of build it up and blend it out. 
if it turns out really crappy, honestly, it's not going to be the formula. It's going to be the fact that I put this on top of like already existing makeup. I tried to clean it off, but I put this makeup on at 6 a.m. Okay. And she's looking a little rough. She's looking a little rough and it's fine. I tried to fix it with setting powder, but it worked out well. It worked out well. It's looking so rough and I don't think it's the palette's fault. I think it's myself. I think it's literally my fault for doing something that I never do. I just want to try something different, see if it would help, and I don't think I'm helping my situation here because I used a makeup wipe, and I don't know if I wiped it off well enough, so I feel like the shadow is just not doing its thing like it's supposed to. If this doesn't turn out good, we're going to we're gonna wash the face and try it again. But right here, I'm going to take this shade right here called Squirrely. Let's just try this out. We're going to see if we can trust the process. If it doesn't work, we'll just, you know, start over. But let's just see if we can get this to work and make it look nice and clean without it looking like rough like it is right now. All right, now it's going to go into the shade right here called Secret Stash. So freaking cute. This is such a pretty shade. I love the nice foils they have. We're going to put this right here. Hopefully this blends out together nicely because I'm going to use the last two shades for my under eye. But let's see how well this blends. What we're going to do is we're going to clean this up. We're going to trust the process. See if I can get this to blend out a little bit more. For some reason, it's like it's like looking like on camera, like these two shades are like not wanting to blend out. But like it's weird because like in person, like right here, I can see it blending out. So it's kind of like one of those things I'm like, is it me? Am I the problem? Like what is going on here? So let me see if I can get this fixed. If not, we will start over from scratch. So I'll be back. So I think, I think we're getting her to work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shade right here called Nut Job. And we're actually gonna take that, we're gonna line that along our upper waterline because I wanna put on um, some lashes today. I actually want to go in with the new Divination Lashes from Robert Welsh and Blend Bunny, which by the way, the entire collection just launched today. You guys can use my code Ally save you guys 10% off of that. I'm going to put on the half lash because I feel like the half lash would be really pretty with this. But I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to stamp this right along my waterline so I can have a little bit of a like liner, no liner effect. I love doing this technique because you guys know at the end of the day, I am not a liner girly. I just, I'm horrible at it. So powder is just so much easier. Okay, so I wanna show you guys something. Hopefully it'll come up on camera so you guys can see how this is looking so far. So this is what it looks like. So I don't know if you guys can see the duochrome-esque of it. If not, you'll die. So definitely see it on this eye. But right now, this is laying down very nicely. I feel like we were able to save it with that concealer just a little bit. So I'm just going to do the other eye off camera. We're going to come back with the lashes on. Then we're going to do the under eye together. And that's going to pretty much wrap up this cute little short review of the Nutty by Nature palette from Inslee Rain. Okay, she's kind of coming together. But what I did do is I did take off my lip because I wanted to do more of a fall lip. So I'm going to go into, typically I go into like my Jaclyn combination, but we're going to switch it up today. I'm going to go into my Revlon lip liner. This is going to be in the shade Sienna. We're going to line my lips with this. I want to use something that you guys can still get your hands on if you wanted to. And unfortunately, Jaclyn's products are no longer accessible. So we're going to line my lips. Okay. And then we're going to take the shade called Pure Talent. We're going to line my lips with, we're going to fill this in. Okay, I feel like that's a nice little like fall lip. Again, I'll have everything linked down below, but we're gonna ignore if like the skin's looking a little rough. We're gonna we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna finish off the eyes. So for underneath, we're gonna go into this shade right here called Nut Job right here. And I am wearing the half lashes from the new Robert Welsh and Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Um lashes. I love a good half lash. I don't even feel these on my lid. Oh, they're fantastic. Let's go with that nut job. And go right underneath. I'm going to take the shade right here called In a Nutshell to blend that out. I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Yellow Liner. This is going to be in the shade called Extra. We're going to line our lip, our, let's say our lips with this, our eyelids with this. All right, then I go in with the Art of Two Cosmetics. So this is going to be the transition highlighter. I just want to use this as my brow bone and my inner corner highlight because this thing is absolutely gorgeous and it has like an orange yellow shift and I feel like it's just going to complement this so nicely. I'm just going to take this 
Oh my gosh, yes. Right here. Oh my God, that is so stunning. And then you know what? I'm gonna add, I already have highlighter on, but we're gonna add a little bit to the highlight cause like, why not? Give a little bit of that green, give it that little orange, yellow, oh, just like that. So pretty. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is in the shade called Sparkling Iris. We're just gonna take this. We're gonna. Okay, so this is the final look right here. I just wanna see if my mirror will pick up this shift. So I don't know if you guys can see where it goes from like a green to like an orange right here. Super, super pretty. I don't know how what's coming off in camera, but then like right here, it's coming off like a rose gold, like orangey shade, but like you can definitely see the multi-chrome shift right there. So, so pretty. I don't know if that like helps if I close my eyes and do this. And then if I do on this eye too, I don't know if this is helping but it's so freaking pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys out and give you guys my thoughts on this palette. All right, guys, so this is the final look right here. We are going to ignore that the physical, like, makeup base is looking a little rough because she is, but that is my own fault because, like I said, I put this makeup on <laughs> literally at 6 a.m. this morning, and it is currently 6 p.m. when I am finishing up this video. So <laughs> over 12 hours I had this makeup on, so she's definitely looking a little bit rough, but you know what? it's okay because I'm just here about the eye makeup. So I will say this is, I think, the first time, I could be wrong, Inzy Rain has done a like six pan palette. I think this palette is super cute. First off, I love the outside packaging. Nutty by nature. This scroll is so freaking adorable. Then you do this gorgeous color store on the inside. This is going to make it almost like, I want to say a cool tone fall to winter vibe. I love the whimsical feel. I love the yellow. I love the browns. And these two little multi-crumbs in here are absolutely gorgeous. Like I utilize the entire palette to create this look. The mattes work perfectly. They're, they blend beautifully and the multi-crumbs are just gorgeous. They're, and the multi-crumbs are just as gorgeous as ever. The formula in here is incredible. If I had a guess, I'd say the price point would be anywhere between like 20 to $30 range. If I had to guess, I'd say what I say is like somewhere with like maybe like $29 maybe like $36 if I had to guess. And I know that she did say she's launching this very, very soon. I think within the next coming week or so, she's gonna be launching this palette because she is launching one every single month. So I would assume it's either gonna be sometime next week or right after. So as soon as I know about the price point and the launch date about this palette, I will absolutely let you know. <laughs> and as always, you guys can use my code Allie to save you guys 10% on anything in sleeve ring cosmetics. So just my quick little video for you guys today. I'm going to go grab some yummy, delicious anniversary food with my husband. But thank you guys so much for being here. I cannot wait to see you guys on Sunday for new makeup releases because besties, <laughs> Come here, girl. we have a lot to talk about. Oh. We have a lot to talk about. So with that said, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already said to post three to four videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channels, R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful ventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful paid to members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribe, you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video